had to perform after Britney Spears at the iHeartRadio Music Festival should have packed their bags after the Queen was done because she destroyed that stage. Britney Spears has been killing it this year and this performance proves just that. Britney put on quite the show when she set foot on the stage at the iHeartRadio Music Festival. The Queen took us all down memory lane during her 30 minute set by performing some of her greatest hits like Toxic and I'm a Slave for You. Doesn't she look amazing? The nostalgia did not stop there, people. Britney even took it way, way back to her very first album with an incredible performance of You Drive Me Crazy. But of course, her entire set wasn't just songs from her past. The Womanizer singer also took time to perform a couple tracks from her new album and eventually brought out G-Eazy to recreate their 2016 VMAs performance. Alright guys, what did you think of Britney's performance? Let me know in the comment section below. And when you're done with that, click right over here to check out all the songs that celebrate being single on Listed. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe to Clever News. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm your girl Jackie Idenisi, and I'll see you guys next time.